Earlier this year, the six foot track marathon unfortunately had to be canceled due to risk of landslides caused by bushfires and heavy rains, um, which was a bit of a bummer, but they were gonna still give out all of the race packs and shirts and that sort of thing. Unfortunately, then COVID hit and they've had to delay all of that. But finally, today I get to pick up my race pack. I thought, what better way to show off a tote goodie bag from a trail run than by opening it on a trail run. I'm not actually doing a trail run today, I'm just doing a trail walk, but still really nice place to have a look at what's inside this bag. It's one of the first things which I got, it's the race shirt, which I've been looking forward to this for such a long time. Um, and I've really needed a new race shirt. I'm running out, I've been wearing this to death. So, Let's put it on. And there we go. Oh, I've been looking for this shirt, looking forward to this shirt for quite a while. Um, and fits nicely. It is a little bit small, but that's just because I put on a little bit of weight over the last few months. So this is the gear from the 2020 six, six foot track marathon. This is the uh, runner's shirt that you could purchase for the event. Of course, the event no longer happened but I'm still gonna wear the shirt like I ran it anyway. Next from the goodie bag, we have a bell, which of course you ring when you see others going down the run and you've finished or something like that. Um, which is quite nice. I could use this at other events as well. Also in here, we've got six foot track marathon metal bottle, um, which also is great. I didn't have one of these. so. That's actually really useful. And it's a sort of a thermos style bottle. Um, of course, I don't know how well this retains heat specifically, but yeah, that's really nice. And the final item, of course, is the finisher's towel, which, whew, starting to get a collection of these towels now. That one's quite nice. And then the bag itself, is this nice little tote bag, as you can see. Actually has the map of the six foot track marathon on it. Um, yeah, so a nice little bag to tie it all together. And of course, I'm still quite disappointed that I didn't actually get to do the six foot track marathon, especially considering this would have been my first ever six foot track marathon. But then again, I really wasn't that well prepared. I probably would have come out of that with an injury. No, I'm like 95% sure that I would have come out of that with some sort of decent injury, which would have put me out of training for a while. So for anyone watching this who was signed up for the six foot track marathon and didn't get to do it, um, the pickup locations, there's this weekend, of course, by the time this video is posted, this pickup will have finished, but that's out at Willoughby. And then there's another one next week uh, in the city, so in Surrey Hills of the Sydney CBD. Now the pickup location for this kit was in Willoughby, which is sort of the north shore of Sydney. So north of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It's near the river and near an area called Castle Crag and Castle Cove, a whole bunch of areas with castle in their name really. Um, but out here, there is a whole bunch of walks and trails. Really nice little area. And I've never actually been out here for the trail runs or trail walks even, but I really should come out here more often. And I really should start incorporating more trail runs into my training. Um, it's going to be a different sort of exercise doing the trail run, of course, because you can't necessarily keep your heart rate really low without going really slow, at least for me anyway. But it's good training for all of those little complementary muscles in and around your feet, stabilizers, all that sort of thing, because this sort of surface is very different to running on flat, paved surfaces. <sighs> now I've been taking a few turns here and there, and I'm not used to this trail area, so I really hope I don't get lost today. Actually, no, that would be quite nice. I hope I get lost, as long as I get unlost before it gets dark. Here we go. That's a good little map. That's where we are. That's the area. Currently it's Scott's Creek. 
whatever that is. Well, that is Scott's Creek. Up or across? Ah, too many options. I don't know where they all go. I'm just gonna go this way, hope for the best. So last week, I decided to take just a quick break from creating my vlog, my weekly vlog. Um, just needed a bit of mental break from everything. Work has been non-stop at the moment. And just didn't find time on the Sunday or any time during that week or on the weekend. And just sort of, I sort of needed a little bit of a break. So I took a week off. Now back into it, of course. Um, my training itself as well has been a little bit relaxed lately, um, last week or two. Again, because of work, just everything building up on top of everything else. But yeah, I definitely want to get back into it. Um, and as I said, incorporate more trail runs into my training, because this sort of thing, it's just beautiful. Of course, it always does make me a little bit nervous. Um, the thought of walking through these trail runs, there's not that many people around, or well, none really. <laughs> and, uh, you know, snakes, spiders, that sort of thing. It does make me a bit nervous. I haven't seen any yet. I'm really hoping I don't see any. I'm really hoping that none show up on the paths that I'm taking anyway like if they're down there or something and you know i can see them in the distance that'd be fine but if they're on the path or anywhere near the path i will freak <laughs> and talking about path this is a tough excuse for a path this mustn't be a very well run trail run um it is nice i don't know where i'm going just following this creek up and up the creek. Uh, no, nope, this way. You can kind of just make out an actual trail. So, you know, it is a real walk, as far as I can tell. And there are little rubbish bags, bin bags, here and there, dispersed all over the place. As so I'm about to come up to one on my left, so that means that this is at least a semi-common walking trail for people. So leave these things here so that you can leave rubbish in them if you need to. But of course, if you're on a trail, best bet's just take your rubbish with you. All right, well, I'm gonna have to start making my way back because sun's gonna be setting sometime soon and I've got no clue where I am. So thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, water and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.